this is why you want to suck at dating, uh, or, or how to suck at dating. Uh, it, I, I'm inspired to make this video because of Maureen Johnson, uh, who's temporarily at youtube.com slash vlogbrothers, and she's talking about uh, that you actually want to suck at writing uh, before you publish, and actually before you publish a book, uh, you want to really suck at writing, and really, 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 really suck. And I thought, you know, same thing for dating. So I thought I'd put on the love coach hat and uh, talk about why you want to suck at dating. The reason you want to suck at dating is the same reason. Uh, first, we want to quantify success in dating. Uh, you know, success in writing would be uh, that your book is got millions of copies on the front rows of Barnes and Noble and all over the front page of Amazon and you're a successful writer then, right? Uh, well, success in dating, I would think, falls under a couple of different variables. One, you find true love. You know, you find that one, you're like, wow, you're the one. That would be success in dating. Two, you enjoy dating. Even the bad dates, you're like, oh, wow, I ended up drunk at the top floor of a skyscraper in downtown Dallas looking out over the snow which we have today um, which is weird uh, three uh, that you learn about yourself from dating that would be the third thing that would indicate a success at dating uh, be it that you go on a date and then you go wow uh, I really learned a lot about how to say no or I learned a lot about how to um, ask for what I wanted or whatever that is but you learn from dating so those three things are how I would quantify successful dating so now how do you successfully date well you have to suck at it first you have to go on a lot a lot a lot of dates uh, to quote Maureen uh, if you wouldn't if you went and bought a violin you wouldn't be able to p play it um, straight out of the box you know you have to practice a lot and practicing includes messing up hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands and thousands of times so why would you expect to go on like the third or fourth or tenth or even twentieth date in your life and be able to do any sort of success at it uh, the twentieth time I pick up the violin, I promise it will suck. You know, I um, I promise that the twentieth time I do almost anything that's really worth doing, it will probably suck. So, uh, same with dating. You know, I found true love. I have been happily married for seven years. We've been together nine. I have like completely the marriage to have, and most of my dating life sucked. Not even like most. That's underestimating. I would say. I sucked at dating the whole time. Like, I was really bad, even though I was practicing and learning and growing and, like, changing how I did things and reading and studying and asking for advice. And, yeah, I sucked the whole time. So, the lesson is, go out and do something. Because if you don't practice, you won't get better. And the same is true for dating, too. You'll never find true love if you never answer the front door. So, good luck in the dating search. Onward and upward!